Okay guys, this is Ginger Weathers. I am in my studio working in my sketchbook and for the next 30 days in my sketchbook, well there may be some hit and misses in between, but for the next 30 days I have decided to join an art group that are doing a 30 day art challenge and it's uh, for thriving Christian artists. So anyway, we had prompts that we have to do every day, and yesterday I didn't get to paint or draw, and my prompt yesterday was to um, my mind went blank, um, to draw our interpretation of what God's love is for us. And I wanted to do that with this little simple well, I say a little simple sketch. It wasn't simple because I've been having a really hard time with it today for some reason. It's just not the image was in my head, the idea was in my head, but I was having a hard time implementing it. And um, it took me quite a while to do the sketch. I was going to do the sketch while I was videoing, but I was like, there was so much erasing going on. And I don't, sometimes I'll sketch without pre-sketching I'll just go straight in with my pen and ink but when it comes to people this tends to be maybe my weaker area so I want to make sure that I get get it to where it looks halfway decent before I let you guys see what a mess I've made of it but anyway um, to me God's love for me um, has been shown in so many ways in the last few years. And for me personally, I always, I've, I've never doubted that God was ever with me, that His love was not there for me. I've always known that. But sometimes in life we get caught up uh, with just everyday life and we forget about the goodness of God and we forget about maybe what he's doing in our life until we've you know hit rock bottom and we look back and we see maybe the the work that's been done but I've been through so much in the last couple of years that God had God had to kind of get me out of a funk in other words, I allowed the enemy to speak to my mind and even to a certain extent my heart. And multiple times um, God has come to me personally and just reiterated his love for me. Like one night I was struggling and... I went to bed that night and I had woke up like three times at like three o'clock, four o'clock and five o'clock. And each time I woke up, it was almost like, I don't know. I just felt God's presence so strong in the room and I felt this deep love of the father that sometimes, I mean, you know, God loves you, but sometimes you don't always feel that physical but this this particular night I did I felt it so strong in my room I mean it was amazing and at that next day I thought well I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna express what maybe God was showing me that night when he woke me up and I never got a chance to but I think it was like a day later or whatever, I ended up getting up and, and drawing something, and God revealed some things, even through my own painting to me. But I said all that because my point is, is I was struggling, and God woke me up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 5 o'clock to show me that He loved me. And I felt like, you know, His arms were literally wrapped around me, in that moment um, while I was going through all that. And so for me, the interpretation of 
God's love for me is, I know Jesus doesn't have wings, okay? This is totally an interpretive drawing. So for me, I, I think of the scripture where it talks about being under the shadow of his wings. And I really feel like um, that's where he has me. It's kind of like I'm in this picture, I'm sort of tucked in. And his wings are overshadowing me. And he's, I like this part up here, which I'll, um, here, I'll just kind of sketch it in a little bit more so you can sort of see it. But I've got it to where his hand is almost like reaching out uh, over, kind of over, sort of overshadowing me. And, um, I love this because this is exactly what he does. It's like he reaches out and he's his hands over my 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 life. I mean, he's he's there protecting me. He's guiding me. He's he's my comforter. He's my protector. He's my uh, shield. My faith. My strength. My source. He's all these things to me, and I wanted to depict this power up here of him overshadowing me, but also when you come back over on this side and you see almost like this um, hand that's been not really it's not really wrapped around me but and I know that finger doesn't look right but it's it's kind of turned up and coming at you like I said this is probably people are not my strong point but anyway th the depiction is there and you kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do here but for me God's love is totally protective it's totally um comforting and this is what i wanted to portray in this picture a comforting protective feel of his mighty hand overshadowing me and his protective wings covering me through all of my life and all aspects of things I may go through. You know, each one of us has trials and tribulations, and each one of us, we may think that we're, that our trials worse than someone else's, but we're not exempt. As Christians, we're not exempt for from the the enemy's attacks and just life in general. It doesn't even have to be what you say an attack of the enemy. It could be just life gets in the way and life kind of stinks sometimes, maybe because it's not always pleasant. There's heartbreak and there's hurt and there's a lot of different things that we may face. But you know what? through these times and in this picture this girl seems very vulnerable but in these times she also is showing almost that protective feeling of I'm okay I'm I'm tucked in here under his wings I'm tucked in under his um mighty hand and I'm gonna just trust and believe that he's protecting me and taking care of me and that's what we have to do we have to be reminded um, sometimes that things don't always look great. Maybe uh, they don't always feel great. And they don't always happen great. But God's in control. And he has... I'm looking for a blending stick. I'm actually using a charcoal pencil 
uh, hard, and I don't want this to to uh, bleed over onto my other page. So I'm gonna do some blending, and I'm, I may even spray this piece just to protect it because I don't normally work in charcoal, but I wanted to get this sort of shaded. Um, I don't know, almost like a pencil look without the pencil. And I may even take my, I may even take my, uh, <laughs> that didn't look like I wanted it to do. But I may take my watercolor, uh, I may take this, okay? I don't know what you call this. It's like a watercolor pen. I may take that and go over it and just see if that kind of sets in the charcoal. I mean, I did this. I did use that pen with something the other day. I can't remember what it was. It might have been regular colored pencils or something. And I really didn't think it would work, but it did. It actually worked really well, and it set the color in to what I was doing. So I may use that. But anyway, you kind of sort of get the gist of where this is going. So just remember, while I'm drawing this, just remember that whatever you go through in life, remember that you have a loving Savior. And He loves everything about you. You are His. And He created you, first of all. I know some of you may disagree with that and say, oh, well, I was created by my mom. My mom and dad had me. You know, they created me. Well, ultimately, God designed you. And although it takes a mom and a dad to procreate and, and you were born through that procedure or that process, um... He, he kind of already had you planned, in other words. Whether you'd be here and what you would do. And, and you know, God's a loving God, but he doesn't force himself on people. There's some people who will accept him and some people who won't. And I guess that's their, that's their choice. Me, for me, um, for me, I didn't have a choice. Uh, this this is this is um, I'm not loving this right here. Let's, we'll do it like this. She's got her. I don't know what to do there, but anyway, for me it was it was a no brainer. It wasn't. Uh, let's figure out what what I want to do or who I want to believe in. Well, I've always grew up in the church and and uh, maybe it was just natural for me. I'm gonna do this. I'll do like her hands hanging down here. I didn't draw this in, but I'm kind of sort of sketching it as I go. I want to look like her fingers are dangling a little bit. Um, not loving that. You kind of have to sometimes figure as you go where something's going to I didn't like this cutting off. Now, I actually used a reference picture for this girl, and there was like a little, you didn't see this hand, but I didn't like the way that looked with that gap there. I'm still not loving this. I don't know what to do with it. And I may have just messed this up. But. 
Let's do it that way. It'll just look like she's tucking her hand on the other side of her leg. We'll just do that. Hopefully that'll make more sense. And I'm not used to doing this talking and drawing at the same time thing, so <laughs> I apologize that it, if it seems a little bit weird or if I maybe hesitate when I'm talking or this is all new to me Man. To, to do this. I just got my video equipment set up and this this whole talking into the video and drawing at the same time is all, like I said, new to me, so it's a little bit strange. And there again, I don't know, whoops, I don't know exactly what Jesus looked like, but I'm just trying to sort of get a rough feel, you know, what people do, different people to pick, but. Like I said, it's just a loose sketch. And I'm not loving these charcoals. I'm going to see. <sighs> I don't like the way it, every time I put my hand on the paper, it's everything goes smearing. So let's throw some background stuff in here. I don't even have one right here. Almost like. She's betwi betwixt two walls, maybe. Or in like a little alcove, and he's standing there. So, okay. I know this isn't the greatest. And his body looks a little short, according to my camera. Um, not sure why this is looking a little bit like it does, but... He looks really short here, but he's really not. She's bent down and I don't know why it looks like that, but on my picture looking at it, it, it doesn't look like that. Looking st straight down on my picture, it doesn't look like that, but on the video, it, it, it does for some reason. Trying to get this sort of turned up look on his nose. And I'm struggling just a little bit. Look, he's looking up. Maybe I put a shadow under here. Well, that didn't work. Alright, so I am going to use my watercolors and I'm going to kind of do some shading in on this and see what we can do and then I will get back with you in just a second. <laughs> 